Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going camping. But before we go, I'm going to explain the details and then we'll start going. The campsite that we are staying at is Rowey Lake Provincial Park in the city of Mission. For this camping trip, uh, we are going to split the video into four, into four parts. Um, day zero is we're going to buy supplies, packing stuff, and rent a car at uh, YVR, and that's actually this um, this video. Uh, day one, that's um, tomorrow, uh, will be the first day at the campsite. Uh, we will um, show you around the place and have fun. Uh, day two, we're going to explore the park, like go to the waterfall, the the beach. I uh, just messed my camera up. Uh, the trails and more. And finally, which is day three, uh, we're going to leave the leave the campsite. Uh, we'll return the car and head home by um, transit. Now let's show you some of the detail through the other uh, paper. Uh, first is this one right here, the camping details. I'm just gonna zoom in. And I do have a uh, pencil right here. So the um the site the site number actually the park name is Rowley Lake Provincial Park. I'm gonna write down in uh Shun. And we're gonna be staying at site number forty one. And just so you know there is um uh, cell service there, so I could even upload videos with my phone using this guy right there. Um, fishing is allowed. I'm not. I'm probably uh, not gonna do. I'm not doing uh, fishing for this uh, video. I'm just gonna write that down. Um. Uh, we're gonna stay for two nights, um, and then now the campfire fire. Uh, we are not going to be using the campfire pit, like the. I'm just gonna write that in the fire pit. Um, oh, I'm gonna write down. Uh, not using. It is because of the the fire ban. Um, so we can use campfires, candles, or any kind of. Um, open flame materials, but propane and electric is allowed. And yeah, that's what we're gonna use. And then let me see at the back. Oh, oh yeah, we got the shopping list, and this is what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna write down today's uh, video. Uh, we're gonna be uh, shopping. So we're gonna first um, go to um, superstore. Actually, no, this is this should be swapped around. Actually, no, this is what we want. Um, we're going to start by going to Superstore first um, to get the Family Digested Cookies. And then we'll, and then we'll get the, uh, we'll go over to Walmart and buy the USB powered fan. And so that's that. And, and I'm also going to, the USB power fan and also the great value uh, medium sized marshmallows because I want to make some s'mores out, out of these guys and and so yeah that's that and now for the uh, the transit planning this is what we're gonna do um, and we're gonna um, first um, start at um, Lansdowne, Lansdowne station and we're gonna first do is take the bus route uh, 403 to uh, Leslie Road and to go to the superstore for the um for the um for the cookies and then we'll take the four three again and head all the way to um bridgeport station to uh and then we'll transfer to the 430 to go to um to go to um heading to richmond breakout station so i'm gonna write down uh bay 11 uh that's where uh we need to go i'm gonna write down 430 uh, breakout station. I'm just gonna write down. Mm 
Yeah, that's that. And then we'll catch the 430 um, to Alderbridge Way and Leslie Road for going to Walmart. Or actually, I might be able to make the trip a little bit more easier. Instead of taking the the 403 to Bridgeport, we might be able to take the 410. But we'll see um, what we can do. Um, and then we'll um, take the... After Walmart, we'll go to take the 430 back to Bridgeport. And then we'll catch the SkyTrain to um, Wybier Airport trip. Wybier Airport Station, I meant to say. And then finally... Uh, we'll drive to Rowley Lake Provincial Park. Now I'm not gonna show you me driving there because of course you're not so you. It's illegal to um to let go of your um steering wheel because so for safety reasons I'm not gonna show you me driving. In doing that, I'm gonna write down not showing. Not uh sh showing of me uh driving. Alright, so that's that. And now let's show you the other uh, site map. Here it is. I'm gonna zoom out again. Uh, actually, this is good. So the uh the site we're seeing is um we're gonna be here. We're gonna be here. And then these guys are the washrooms. Uh one here, one here, 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 and here. And there's also two uh, washrooms right here and here these are the day use areas which it says right here uh day use area and so that's what we're gonna use um and we got a couple parking lots and um if you see uh these little guys these guys are the water taps and then uh the red dotted line i'm not sure if the com the color catches on the camera but this is actually red and the, these are the uh, the trails. And I want to actually go to this, the, the little bridge. I'm going to write down um, the bridge. And then that's that. And then as well as the waterfall. I'm going to write down uh, water uh, fall. And yeah, that's that. That's it for the, uh, the details. And so... Um, Let's start, um, let's start going. All right guys, so a change of plans. Instead of taking the 403, we're gonna take the 410 because it's actually coming in two minutes and the 403 is coming in 15 minutes and I don't wanna wait for that. So yeah, the, uh, the bus is coming right now and uh, let's board it. So we just got on the 410 and uh, we're just going to get off uh, of uh, Leslie so it's um, after this song or the bridge away. Alright, well um, I'll update you when we get to uh, Superstore. We're going to buy some of that family digestive cookies. There goes the 410, and now we just need to cross the street from here to, uh, let me, uh, show you. right there. Superstore is right there, and that's where we need to go. Oh, wrong way. Leslie crossing number three road. Anyway, let's head to there and let's get some of that family digestive, uh, cookies. Alright, let's see, uh, Oh, they're way back here. Let's grab it. Come to me. Yep. These guys are tough to get. And how much are they? Is it this? It can't be that. Um, oh, wait. It's this. It doesn't have the price tag, so that's going to be confusing. But anyway, that's all we're getting from here. So we just got on the 403. We had to run a little because it was coming in five minutes, but we made it. And now we're gonna take this all the way to um, Bridgeport and transfer to the 438. So we can head to the Walmart. And once we get to the Walmart, we'll buy that USB powered fan. 
and the um, and the uh, uh, marshmallows because we're gonna make s'mores out of those guys. Anyway, I'll update you when we get to Bridgeport. All right, guys, we're almost at um, Bridgeport Station. Uh, currently, we're on uh, Sexsmith Road, and uh, after this, we're gonna. Um, switch over to the 4.30 and head to um, head to the uh, Walmart um, that's actually in Richmond we just had to get off at um, uh, Leslie Road and Alder Bridge Way and, and we're just gonna walk a, a little bit and it will be right there anyway I'll teach you when we get on the uh, 4.30 Alright guys, uh, hold on a second, we are on the 4.30 heading to uh, Richmond Brickhouse Station and we're gonna get off uh, at this stop and head to Walmart so we can get the, uh, the um, marshmallows and the USB powered fan. Now the USB power fan is actually on the second floor and then the, the marshmallows is in the, uh, the first floor. Anyway, let's go there and get those items, and after that we'll head to um, Lavier Airport and rent the, uh, the car. There goes the 430, and uh, we just need to do is cross the street, head into Walmart, and get those two items. Right, let's do this. Marshmallows are right here. Yeah, what we need. Right, let's go um, uh, upstairs to get the uh, the fan. Now with this, I'm gonna need two hands, so I can't film while doing this. Um, but I can show you uh, me just going up the escalators. Escalators. Anyway, let's get the uh, the fan. Here it is. And that's all we need. Alright guys, so we are back on the 430 to um, Metro Town. And uh, we're gonna get, um, go to Bridgeport and then we'll hop on the Sky Train. Alright guys, so we're just at Bridgeport Station and we're going to uh, get to uh, YBR Airport. Hey guys, so a uh, change of plans. Uh, there's actually a security incident at uh, Bridgeport Station. So right now I'm actually on bus route 412 heading to the YBR South Terminal. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to the South Terminal and take the YBR's um, shuttle bus and get to the main terminal. Now, I did not expect I had to do this, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Alright guys, so we just got off the 412. Uh, the stop was literally right there. And now we're just going to walk over to the South Terminal and we'll catch the shuttle bus. Alright guys, we are on the shuttle bus to the main terminal. And um, once we get there, we'll rent the car and we'll start heading to the campground. So I'm supposed to be at the campground at this time, but because of the... Uh, because of the uh, security incident at Bridgeport Station, um, I needed to pick a different route. But luckily, I contacted BC Parks and they say it's okay as long as I arrive before it hits nighttime. 
which is good. Anyway, we're gonna head to the um, let's start into the main terminal. we made it and now uh, we're just gonna go uh, uh, downstairs towards the um, towards the international arrival section and then that's where our car is located um, so now so it looks like um, the, um, oh yeah I see the escalators. Alright. Alright, so we just gotta go this way towards the escalator. International arrivals, and it's down these set of um, escalators. We'll go down that. All right, I'll update you when we when I get the uh, the car. All right, guys. So I got my um, car rented, um, and I have the keys in my um, pocket. And uh, the car is actually inside the uh, the rental car uh, parking one. And so yeah, um, we're gonna head there and then uh, we'll drive to Rowley Lake Provincial Park. All right, we're back inside now because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be packing, and then I'll unbox this um, USB powered fan. And then uh, we'll show you it working by this little power bank. So, the things that I'm mainly going to pack right now is going to be the electronics part. And that's all I'm going to show you because clothes and stuff. Yes, I am bringing those, but no one needs to know that. But the electronic part's a little interesting. First, uh, we got a Nintendo Switch. For playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and also Super Mario Maker 2. Um, USB power fan to keep us cool in the uh, the campsite. Uh, the power bank, which has um, two USB ports. Um, and then we got um, USB-C here to charge it. And then we also got this little thing here, which... Um, that's where I'm gonna need to grab a stylus because it's a little bit difficult at the beginning because this is actually brand new in case you want to know. I'm gonna grab my Wii U's gamepad's uh, stylus and if we were to just pop it out like so just gonna Use my nail, and once I get to that point, I'm gonna use the stylus to lift it up. All right, and that's where I could place it on my clothing, like so. Like that, and now that's actually right here. And that's not gonna go anywhere. But I do not want that because this is quite a heavy device. And if this was to drop, it's gonna damage the, um, it's gonna damage the um the the um the power bank. So in doing that, we're not gonna use the um use the clip. But um, I'm gonna show you how to how I'm gonna charge the Nintendo Switch and also using the um the this app uh, USB power fan. Um, uh, first let's show you the Nintendo Switch because. That's a little bit challenging. First up, we're gonna do is grab the um the pro controllers uh, charging cable. Um, if you don't have a pro controller for the Nintendo Switch or 
or um, you haven't gotten a lead that goes from a USB C to a USB into a standard USB, then you'll need to buy some kind of a, a lead depending on what pair power bank you're using. Anyway, we're gonna plug one end into uh into here. And then the USB-C part is going to be plugged into here. And straight away the light comes on and if I were to show you that it's, uh, oh it's not showing, maybe because I need to. There you go, console battery 100%. And then that's for charging that. And now let's show you the USB uh, power fan. Now this is actually technically a desk fan, not necessary uh, a um, and not necessary a um, an actual fan that you can carry on the go. But hey, if we are gonna going camping with this, then there's not much. You can do about about it. Um, I just want to be careful because I don't want to damage whatever is in there. Oh yeah, there you go. And now uh, we got to be careful of here because this is where the cord can get damaged. So try not to um, crinkle it or bend this part because it's actually not really a good cable. But um, yeah, I think this just goes goes on oh yeah, like that. And then I can have it at different angles. And oh, there's only one speed, so that's okay. But anyway, what's um I'm gonna um quickly just uh put the cable over like that. And now um I'm gonna uh, let's um, unscrew this or do, undo the twist tie. It's actually, oh, oh. Right, that comes off, and now, um, Now the USB end, I'm gonna plug that into here. All right, that's plugged in, making sure I turn on the power bank. By the way, I forgot there's a little um, button work right here that I can just turn it on. And then we'll flick on the power. Oh yeah. And I can feel the wind. That's actually cool. Oh, that's going to help us with the... Oh, yeah, that wind is nice. It's This is going to help us with the... Um, in the camping. And if I want to turn it off, I can just... Turn that off, like so. And then if I try it on the other USB port, it doesn't matter. So if I plug into right here and then turn it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's going to be an awesome during this camp, especially the fact that it's really hot outside. Anyway, I'm just going to do is um, put it back in the box and then I'll just um, pack it away into my um, somewhere in this office and then I will... Um, um put in the bag uh in the suitcase when uh when we are actually ready um
So let's just put that right here. Uh oh, there you go. And that is it. Uh, I could just um, and now that can just go directly in here. Done that. Uh, I want to make sure to be careful not to um, damage the cable. So I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'll have the, the actual fan going first. Yep, just like that. And... I'm just gonna write down um, for um, camping just so I don't forget what it is. Um, I actually need a sharpie for this. Here it is. Just gonna write it on the side. Or for camping, I'm actually going to write down for uh, camping here. All right, there you go. And that's that. And um, anyway, uh, that's all that I'm going to be packing and uh, let's start going.